What up channel, it's 4Play, and this is just another commentary. As you're going to notice, the map is Plaza, the game type is Hardpoint. I'm playing with my team in the Frag Cup. I wanted to do a Frag Cup update video. I'm also using MSMC, Toughness, Dexterity, Extreme Conditioning, and I believe Flat Jacket. Okay, so on to Frag Cup. Basically, for those of you that don't know what Frag Cup is, it is a machinima-based tournament hosted on YouTube, like live stream through 360icons.com. And there was over 2,000 teams that signed up. I did a video on it a while back explaining teams to sign up. My team, NVS, obviously was in it with Proofy, Jcap, Stainville, and myself. Great players and great, great slayers. Like, I'm glad to be on this team. And basically, going into this tournament, we weren't as confident as we should have been uh, because we, we've been struggling on hard point. On Saturday, we were scrimming and things just weren't clicking. We were losing hard points to top teams. And when I say top teams, I say like the top four teams in the game. We were scrimming them, and we just couldn't get things going. And then eventually, things started rolling, and we started winning hard points. But that didn't happen until late Saturday night. Proofy and myself stayed on late, and we kind of just talked and went over the maps and how the flag rotates. And hard point definitely is a different type of game. It's not just one of those, oh, the hill moves, get on it type of things. There's a lot to it. And what I mean by a lot to it is you need to learn how to rotate the spawns to where you want and on this team, I'd like to say I do that type of role more so. I try to control the spawn points. And I'm actually going to do a video on it. And I'm going to title that video Play to Win, uh, Not Play to Look Good, or, so, or something like that. Because um, I think it's something that needs to be addressed in competitive gaming. And not too many people are talking about it. But in this gameplay, we end up beating this team 250 to 0. I've never shut out a team like that before in competitive gameplay, like in a tournament. And we actually beat this team. In fact, I've never even done that in league play. In league play, I beat a team 250 to 3, maybe 250 to 6, but I've never shut out a team um, in league play or in a tournament. And this is the Frag Cup tournament, so it's kind of ironic. The team we we're playing here wasn't that good. Um, they, you could tell that they were just a starting team, but also they should have got some points because you could tell in this game at one one point in time I can test the flag when I could have challenged somebody, but I wanted to make sure that we got that shut out because I thought it'd be a cool video to bring to you guys. But I wanted to break down how the first day went. On Sunday, we got on and we didn't have a, uh, we actually had a bye. So we, we didn't have to play the first round. So we got on and we scrimmed. We scrimmed some top teams like FaZe and another team called I2. It's like a top AM team. And we were scrimming these guys and things started to click. So we were like, okay, today's going to be a good day, like good day. We go into round two and we ended up playing this team. Obviously, we dominated them. Didn't have to worry about them too much. And then going into round three, I don't remember who we played, but we beat them as well. We beat every team that we played. Uh, we didn't drop a map the whole tournament. And the first three rounds, you only had to play the best of a three. And then if you're playing uh, like from round four and five, then you had to play the best of five. We ended up not dropping a map. And the final map was streamed um, on YouTube, which is pretty sweet. So a lot of people got to see how our new team played. And Proofy, Stainville, no. Yeah, Proofy and Stainville both dropped 50s in hard point against a team called Fate. And they were actually really good. Um, they, like, or, I mean, that was actually a really good performance by them. And I, I think I only put up like 20, <laughs> to be honest. But I was trying to hold spawn points majority of the time. And I was trying to kind of like play that, that role where you just keep your teammates getting good spawns and stuff like that. And I'm going to do that definitely. Um, I saw some people like, Oh, how did Jcap or well Jcap I think had 35 and then Proofy and them had 50 and then I only had 20. So people were like, oh, you didn't get that many kills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I was like, dude. But and then the CTF we played in the final map, I ended up going 25 and 11. And the search, I believe, I went like three and three or something. It was it was just a decent performance. But anyway, going into this, I kind of wanted to just update you and let you guys know what's going on. But now there's the top 32 teams and they've been picked and now we're going into a top 32 finals tournament that'll be streamed December 15th or 16th. I'll definitely upload a video for you guys. Hopefully by then I have my stream set up and you guys can come over and just chill with me and hopefully we have a good time on the stream. But basically this is the update. I don't really have much else I had to update you guys with. We are definitely in the top 32 tournament and that's awesome. We have a three week break before the next one. I'll definitely update you gonna keep posting videos so you guys can see the progression if your team was in it and you didn't 
um, advance, then that sucks, but it doesn't mean that you should give up because definitely into the next one. There's a bunch of small tournaments. Hopefully you guys can find them. 360 icons, any any small tournaments. If you follow me on Twitter, most of the time I definitely tweet those out. But this has been 4Play from Team Envious and the 4Play gang. You guys are the best. Thanks for the support, as always. Peace.